watching MWC TV and joining me on the Vodafone stand right now is George Bento. So how's the show been for you so far? It's exciting, honestly. I do The last three days I saw something different. I'm, I'm coming here every year. This last three days I saw companies much more willing to work together. So there is a, a different vibe. People are, are coming together to debate opportunities and customer needs. So we are all, all seeking for customer solutions. So it's been very, very exciting. Time for action, basically. Time for action is what I feel, exactly. So you're here to talk about PairPoint. Tell me all about that. Uh, PairPoint, see PairPoint is a new platform. It's a new IoT platform. The difference between existing platforms and PairPoint is that while the majority of the platforms allow things to connect, uh, PairPoint allow things to connect across ecosystems. So it's no longer about devices talking within the framework they are developed for, but devices being able to interoperate with many more devices from different systems. And now, if you are able to make that in a, in a safe manner, then the devices can also be instructed to start transacting with each other. So basically, you make things to become economic agents. And if you consider that there are many more devices than people, right, you can understand the value of things being able to transact with others because you bring economies to a different stage. And basically, that is what you are doing. You are bringing security to devices, so you can see us as a secure tech company and equally as a payment rail company. And then we work with Visas and Mastercards and PayPal's and all of these payment rails in the market to enable transactions between things. So what we're talking about here is really the economy of things, isn't it? It's a, it's a shift that I'm seeing in the industry. Businesses are moving from IoT to EOT to using connected devices to you know, le leverage their business. Basically. Yeah, because if you look, so everyone, if you go to across the, the MWC today, it's all about AI, right? And of course, AI will change the world. But AI needs data. Right. Now, a lot of the data that is today provided is coming from websites and so on. Now, imagine devices being able to provide data to big AI platforms. And in order for that to happen, devices need to be able to monetize their data. So the data has a value intrinsic to the device itself and the owner of the device. So what we are trying to secure is that who owns the device can monetize the data. So when, when devices are exploring data towards AI engines, they can create economic benefit that justifies the creation of value. And that's why we believe PairPoint can indeed, of course, together with a variety of technologies, can be disruptive. So we've got a demo behind us. Can you just talk me through what's going on behind this, us? This is less of a demo that we try to bring some virtual reality, assisted reality. So if you use those beautiful glasses, you will see a city. And basically within that city, you're going to see a variety of different use cases that PairPoint can power. So there are examples around logistics. Mm -hmm. The concept is, for instance, a container arriving to a port. Yeah. You combine technology in the container with mobile private networks in the, in, the, in the port so that containers can negotiate the time of landing because to each container you can assign a kind of a risk scoring based on the cargo that the container is bringing. And as such, the container can be handled faster than a, low, a higher risk container because the port has lower risk around illicit trading, for instance. You also have an example around uh, mobility. Mm -hmm. So you have a variety of cars transacting with the surroundings. So cars transacting directly with tolls, with parking, with car washes, out entirely autonomous. You also have retail opportunities. So imagine you enter into a store, you just went to the place or where the goods that you like are, you grab a good, you step out from the door, and as soon as you step off the door, because I know you and I know the good, I can secure that it's an automated, automated transaction. So there are no queues, there are no cashiers, so the entire retail experience can be changed. So that is a couple of examples that PairPoint can... Yeah, can and it's a great demo and a great way for people to understand the technology, understand what PairPoint is trying to achieve. Yeah, and finally, is there anything else at the show that you're looking forward to seeing? You know, again, I, 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 of course, I walk a lot to see, to see a variety of things. I spoke with a variety of different telcos, all of them offering uh, amazing, amazing solutions. Even in, in Vodafone, tremendous solutions. So for instance, network as a sensor, I think, is really, really cool. How you are able to use the radio propagation to forecast what the weather can be. Uh, assisted living, after COVID, we need to help. Um, improving the quality of living and assisted living is a good example of what we can do together. Um, the solutions for assisted driving that STEP can offer also aim to solve the, 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 the accidents and the people dying on the street. So there is a variety of new solutions that technology can, can, can bring to life which help society to live much better and I think that is our obligations as a as a technology industry members. Yeah, yeah, it really is hard not to get excited being here at MWC and just glancing into the future, isn't it? It's true, it's true. All right, well, thank you, George. Rest your voice you now. Much. Thanks for your thank time. You. I appreciate it.